we thank God for her and we just say a prayer of blessing over her. Uh, we thank God for you that are watching again. So come on, write us in the chat. Let us know where you're watching us from. Fight through. Fight through the rain. Fight through. The Lord has been teaching us to fight through. Philly, Pennsylvania. What's up, Pennsylvania? Good to have you with us today. We're learning to fight through some things. We're learning to fight through. Fight through the rain. Fight through situations in our lives. Fight through. Fight through. Fight through it. Fight for the faith. Fight through it. Fight through it. Fight through it. All right? So that's our, you know, I just want to encourage you to fight through it. And we'll fight through this rain. I'm telling you. Um, it's like, Lord, every time, every time. The last time it was supposed to come out, we had a cancer because of the hurricane. Hurricane, I don't remember what name that was. And then one other time when we was in Watertown with Pastor Kent in the Watertown church, it was raining. And I don't know what it is. Can I take my hood off now? It feels like it. It's, it's doing better now. Um, but we thank God. You've got to learn how to fight through it. Fight through it. So I want you to join us next Sunday on Zoom or Facebook at 11 o'clock in the morning, 11 a.m. We're going to do service live uh, through Facebook and Zoom. And I'm going to be starting a new series about fight, fighting through it, fight, fighting for the faith, fight, fighting for your future, fight, fight. I'm going to teach you how to fight, fight spiritually. Some of you got to get back your fight. Some of you were fighters and you've lost your fight, but you've got to get back your fight. So I'm going to teach you. So next Sunday, we're going to be starting a new series on fight. We're going to teach you. Come on, come on. We're going to teach you. So I want you to get ready. Get your boxing gloves. We're going to teach you how to fight in the spirit. We want to fight for the unity. We got to learn how to fight for each other. Fight in the body. Fight for one another. We got to learn how to fight for the faith. Fight for our families, but fight for our future. So we're going to be starting this series on fighting. I know it. A pastor teaching on fighting. I know, that sounds funny. But we're going to teach you fighting skills. You know, how to fight emotionally. How do I fight for my mental health? How do I fight, all right, uh, in the spirit? How do I fight? There are times when you get down and discouraged and, and depressed. And you don't just, you don't, you know, has there ever been times you don't feel like getting out the bed? And, and But you got to press through it. You got to fight. You know, we got to fight for our families. We got to fight for unity. Fight. All right, um, we got to fight. Even though we are not joining together physically, we got to fight to still be united. We got to fight. All right, so I want you to get ready. Next Sunday, next Sunday, we're going to fight. All right, we're going to put on our mask and we're going to fight. We're going to teach you some fighting skills, how to, you know, like this. All right, how to block, how to guard. All right, putting up the shield of faith. When the enemy comes, how do I put up my shield of faith to fight? All right? So I just want to encourage you. Fight through it. Don't give up. Don't give in. But we're fighting. We're fighting. We're fighting. We're fighting for the faith. We got more people coming. And 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 even as Christian scans the audience a little bit and just lets you see, we got a little bit more people coming because see the rain and people knew we're meeting at 11, but they coming. They coming in a little bit. And, and God is holding off. The rain is, is slowing down. It's even stopping, I believe, because we're fighting through it. We've got to learn how to use our words and speak. And so I'm going to teach you also with your prophecies. we got to fight. we got to fight with our prophecies. All right? And so this is a season of fighting. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? All right? If you hear me, I want you to write in the chat. I'm going to fight through it. I'm going to fight through it. Some of you need to fight for your family. Some of you, there's some fighting that you got to do for your marriages. Fighting, fighting, fighting for your children. Fighting, fighting for your grands. Fighting. You got to fight in prayer. I'm not talking about using your fist. But we've got weapons that are greater than our fist. And that's what this generation, in some ways, you know, with stabbing and gunshots, because no one has really taught people how to fight. Fight emotionally. Fight mentally. Fight when when someone when someone wrongs you. All right, I'm gonna have Deacon Cheryl come hit me, Deacon Cheryl. Come on, hit me. See, my 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 skills in is to say, do I want to slap her back and knock her out? 
because that's in some ways what we want to do. We get so upset. What do we do when we get so angry? We want to take it out in revenge and fight and hit somebody. But we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. So we got to teach you who your real enemy is. So this is the whole month of September. Might go a little bit in October. But we going to teach you some fighting skills. Do you want to learn some fighting skills? All right? We're going to teach you. Come on. Come on, somebody. I want to learn how to fight. I want to learn how to fight. I want to learn how to fight. So we're going to teach you some fighting skills. Emotional fighting skills. Mental fighting skills. We're going to have someone come on and maybe even teach them financial fight. you got to learn how to fight. Fight in the spirit. All right? We've lost the art of fighting in the spirit to endure to be a good soldier. So we're going to teach you some of those things uh, this month. Did you write in the chat? I'm going to fight through it. I'm going to fight through it. Come on. Did you write in the chat? I'm going to fight through it. Wherever you're watching us from, I'm going to fight through it. 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 All right? God has been teaching us how to fight through this rain. <laughs> fight through the rain because it can get discouraged. And I'm like, I was, I was out early this morning. No rain. And they said, hey, it's not going to rain until 7 o'clock. So we come out, you know, sometimes, and we take things for granted. So we just came out here. So when I'm driving here, and then the rain starts. And I'm like, no, we. I was out all morning, no rain. Just coming here, rain stops. Then I get here, rain comes heavier. And I was just like, you know, and it gets you discouraged when you're going through some stuff. And you don't want to fight through it. It's like, oh, should we just cancel it? Should we just give up? And that's what happens to us. We just want to give up. We just want we don't want to go through because it, it can get hard but I want to teach us this month how to what fight through it how to fight are you getting in your fighting stance all right I'm not gonna teach you how to knock somebody out <laughs> all right uh, but we're gonna knock people out in spirit y'all should laugh at that right uh, but how to fight and because that's what's going on I'm, I'm just hearing so many different things about uh, families and uh, people emotionally, even young people who are just having a hard time mentally, having a hard time uh, depression, having a hard time having to, you know, wear these masks. It's hard sometimes and you can't breathe. You gotta fight through it. Alright? So this is the season. How do I fight through my discouragement? How do I fight through to get to my future? So we're fighting for the faith and fighting for our future. All right? I know some of you will say, well, you didn't say fight for the family. That's all with fighting for the future. When I'm fighting for the future, I mean I'm fighting for my family. All right? So we'll learn, teach you how we fight for the faith and fight for our future. Fight for the future. All right? We all we deal a lot with the past and what's happened to us and what somebody did to us and everything else like that. And that's, that's, and that's understandable. You've got to deal with that. You know, deal with how that's affected you. But you can't stay there. And sometimes we stay too long in the past and not look and not look towards the future. So we want to teach you how to fight for your future. All right? And, and, and get unstuck from the past. Can I get an amen? Amen. Oh, I got some people saying amen today. Amen. <laughs> so we're going to fight for the faith to fight for our future. That includes our seed. That includes it all. All right. So we thank you for being with us. Uh, no? Sure. It sure. doesn't matter. Ariel's going to come and she's going to sing a song. So we got to give you a little, little sup, 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 sup. So, <laughs> so Ariel's going to come and sing. But that's it today. Some of you like, this is the shortest worship. This is the shortest service we ever had. But it's a good one, right? Whatever you receive from that word today, write it in the chat, all right? About fighting, about fighting. Um, and join us next Sunday. Uh, we will not be in the building next week because we, we want to really prepare the building. We're still working, you know, we're working on getting it ready. It's been ready. We're doing some stuff. But we want to make sure all our team can be here. And then the Sunday after. September 19th, we will be in the building. We're still going to be live streaming. So even if you're like, well, I can't make it. I, you know, I still don't feel safe coming out yet. That's fine. We're still going to be live streaming. But the rest of you, come on, fight through it. Wear your mask. 
This is a okay. This is how you put it on. Make sure the hard part is up top. Wear your mask. All right. We can fight through wearing a mask, y'all. All right. Cause why? Cause we care about our brothers and our sisters. So we're gonna wear a mask to protect each other. All right. So Ariel is ready now. Ariel is coming, and she's going to minister in song. Give a God bless you as Ariel comes and ministers in song. Hallelujah. <laughs> Facebook and Zoom. God bless you all. We're going to just worship the Lord with this song. And so if you know it, wherever you are, sing along. Lift your hands. Give them praise. Even if you're here at Danahy, you can sing along and worship. Even thanking God for the rain stopping. Like, it's like, it's not here anymore. So we thank God for that. Hallelujah. All the saints and Angels bow before your throne. All the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God and sing, you're worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. things and to you are all things you deserve the glory Lord you're worthy of it all you're worthy of it all for from you are all things and to you are all things you deserve the glory. Lord, all the saints and angels bow before your throne. All the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God. Sing, you're worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. If you know it, say that with me. You're worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. So day and night, Night and day let incense arise. Day and night, night and day let incense arise. Day and night, night and day let incense arise. Day and night, night and day let incense arise. Day and night, night and day let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, cause you're worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. Cause from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Lord, from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the
the glory. God, from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. God is worthy of it all. Even the rain, he's worthy. And that's why he's going to teach us how to what? Fight, fight through it. Fight through it. We're going to learn how to fight. So this whole month is fighting season. So I'm challenging you. I see every challenge. I hope none of y'all are doing that crate challenge that I be seeing out here. That crate challenge, but people willing to fight through that crate challenge, go up there and break some bones, land in the hospital. Have y'all seen that crate challenge? Check it out. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Because people are willing. They want to fight through. You know, I can do it. I did something. And, and so we got to, if, if you're willing to do that and people do that stuff, let's learn how to fight through the faith. Let's learn how to fight the faith. Let's learn how to fight for the faith. Let's learn how to fight for our future. All right? We're going to fight. So we're going to teach you. All right? This month, it is fighting month. It's the month of September. People get ready to fight. We fought We fought through this, and it's, it's slowing down now. It stopped. Well, it's getting there. But we fight through it. People are here now. People are coming. All right? So next Sunday, we're going to be live streaming. Uh, some of our folks won't be in the building, so we bless you. We say glory to God. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. We'll talk to you this Wednesday. It's going to be noontime. Noontime this Wednesday. Oh, yeah, 6 a.m. on the phone, 6 a.m. prayer this Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll start back our noonday if you can make it on Zoom. Noonday this Wednesday. Then next Sunday, uh, we're going to be fighting. All right? So peace out. God bless you. Peace.